Okay, uh, try 24-7 at the Cycle Show. I am with the current uh, world champion, Alistair Brownlee. Thank you for joining us, Alistair. Uh, no uh, I know you've had a busy day today uh, of interviews. Uh, you're here with uh, uh, Garmin um, and talking to everyone about your season, which um, I think you'll agree probably went even better than you could possibly have expected. Uh, and you want to give us a quick uh, rundown on uh, on your year and um, how you're feeling now? Uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. went a million times better than I expected. Um, you know, even after every race, I never expected to race as well as I did in the next race, and every result came as a kind of surprise in a way, so it was fantastic. Um, and over the first race I did was in Madrid, um, yeah, and I turned up there kind of not knowing how I was going to go, New Year, um, and had an absolutely blind of a race, race fantastically. Um, and then in every other race after that, the conditions have been different, how it, the race has panned out has been different, and, and then in Australia, yeah, I really thought they kind of everyone was there to win and it was you know it's still although it's a series everyone was looking at it as a one-off one-day race and so it's fantastic to have you know the best race all year there and win that i was really happy about that yeah i think one of the interesting things is um, as you say the races um this year generally they weren't uh, all exactly the same uh, you did have uh, breakaways in the swim certainly in madrid i think and washington um which we've you know maybe some of the itu races have been a bit criticized before assuming everyone just go potters around on the bike and then it comes down to a running race but i think you guys have proved this year that that you, you've really taken the swim to a new level and actually been hammering from the start and it, um, and you know, yourself, Javier, and, and others, I think, are responsible for that. And uh, you know, has it made the racing tougher? Do you feel uh, this year? Um, yeah, it's made it different. Um, I couldn't say. You know, that race in Washington was a real, real tough race. It was like, you know, it spread over the entire time. The swim was hard, the bike was hard, and then the run was hard. But after a hard bike, you're never ever going to run quite as fast. So, you know, the the race in. Um, Australia was really really hard because you know I really had to put everything into that last 10k so they're hard in different ways and at the end of the day at the end of Olympic distance triathlon to win at World Cup level it's going to be hard however you win it so yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, you won those those five um, World Series races, but um, you know, one of the races that you, you, you didn't win because you weren't in it uh, was the probably the most expensive or the, the, the biggest purse of the year, uh, yeah. the high V race. Um, when you look back now over your season's plans, is there, is there a little tinge of um, oh, I wish I'd maybe put that in the schedule, or you know, given how well you went in the other other races? Uh, nah, not really. I kind of I kind of know you can't do everything and. You know, you're going to have to make uh, compromises along the way, and I uh, couldn't be more delighted with how the year has gone, to be honest. And you know, who knows if I'd done that, something else would have suffered along the way, I'm sure. So, yeah, you know, unfortunately, you can't do everything, and I think you know the decisions made were all right and well obviously now <laughs> maybe if I hadn't raced so well I would have been otherwise yeah, yeah I suppose you can't really complain you know the five races five yeah, wins exactly. uh, silver and the Europeans and um, you know one of the other interesting things you did at the beginning of the year you did um, a couple of high profile running events um, we saw you on getting a fair bit of TV coverage not far behind uh, highly at the I think it was a Manchester 10k yeah. uh, and you know running is, is a strength of yours is, is that something you're going to look to do again next year and does that just make your your winter and early spring a bit more interesting to do something like that? Uh, absolutely, yeah. You know, I love running on its own, and yeah, I, I definitely I like to quite a lot of country in the winter anyway. And 10k racing, I really found out. You know, I did it as kind of um, you know to get into triathlon 10k shape, and but uh, you know, I really loved it. And yeah, I definitely want to try and do a few more like I did this year, next year. And, yeah, hopefully run a bit faster. Yeah. Um, and as a yeah, we're, we're a day away now from a, a fairly major race uh, going over on in Hawaii. And as yeah. a as a, a Yorkshireman, I know a good mate of yours, uh, Mr. Graves, has been uh, vying for a little bit of the attention. You know, you've had most of it, but he's been getting his fair share. Um, are you looking forward to seeing how how Phil goes in Hawaii? And are you expecting good things from him? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it'd be fascinating. And one thing you know about Phil is he's always going to give it 100 percent, and he's not scared. So it'd be really good to watch and. You know, wishing the best of luck, and yeah, really excited to see how he does. Yeah, and and do you think sort of a few years down the line we, we might see you uh, at the longer distances or some different formats of triathlon? Is oh, that something in your plans? Definitely, without a doubt. But yeah, you know, leave it a few years, I think, and see what happens. Leave it a few years to fill. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's uh, been really good to catch up with Alistair. Uh, yeah, again, uh, we won't keep him too much longer because we know he's had a busy day here at the show and he's got more engagements ahead. But uh, thanks again, Al, uh, and from all all of the the readers out there, just. Uh, uh, big congratulations and thank you for the entertainment you've provided us uh, this year. No Great, thanks a lot, mate.